Hello and welcome back to the Games Kingdom and this evening we've got a bit of an unboxing I say a bit, it's a huge bit of an unboxing it is the new Anachrony Infinity Box and basically this is uh, some new expansions, a lot of new pieces, uh, trays and also you'll be able to fit in here all of the previous game core game and expansions and all of the exosuits and everything uh, miniatures uh, as such so uh, let's crack on and uh, see what we've got inside this uh, very large box it came extremely well packaged um, so we'll sort of rip into this and uh, Take this off, get rid of that and as you can see it is an absolutely massive, massive box. So without any further ado let's see what's inside. For those of you that don't know Anachrony is a sort of uh, science fiction based worker placement game and uh, I've played the solo of this um, and there are some sort of playthrough videos that I've done um, on my gaming channel so if you want to see one or two of those uh, potentially just sort of check that out um, so we've got some nice game trays here uh, with cards and bits and pieces already in but obviously the trick will be that once all these things come out somehow they fit all back in. So there's sort of score pads, so there's some new boards, again more boards and uh, sort of game components there. We've got some new sort of player boards and a lot more um, actual sort of game pieces. Now you do get some of these um, cardboard um, pieces with this but I've also paid for the upgrade with the sort of plastic components and they are very very nice. And then they also do some very nice new metal cubes and some new water pieces you get quite a few of these in the base game but these other things are all new um, and they were all part of the kickstarter this is uh, by the look of it this is the new Kronosis, um solo mode board uh, it looks very similar to the old one but plays a lot different I'm led to believe so I'll uh, hopefully be jumping into that at some point and playing as you can see, we've got a lot of game trays here and obviously they will all be filled up as we go along and they're very nicely, very nicely made and then they're also, you're also able to use these on the tabletop and there's a lot of sort of plasticky components with this one um, which is a, a, an upgrade from obviously the base game components I'll keep those, I'm not sure whether they are used as dividers when you go to pack it all away again um, potentially. There is a guide on the uh, how to sort of put all this back together which is good because I'm at the minute just sort of taking them out at random just to show you uh, the trays and things As you can see, these are the trays which will hold the game miniatures, and you get a set of what they call the exo suits per player, and they are quite nice as well. And then also in here, there are a new set, uh, including some nice new bases. So as you can see, if you haven't seen them from the base game. The miniature suits are extremely nice so they're very detailed and there's a little slot at the top here and that determines your 
uh, what you're using the exosuit for in that particular sort of uh, part of the game when you're putting them out on the board and say so you get a, uh, a set of those per player and there are enough there to sort of take the existing ones there's two more empties there and then obviously these are the the new ones so I'll uh, sort of not so much paint those but uh, have, a, have a go at those what I did with the previous ones I sprayed them white and then sort of inked them the colour of the actual sort of outer base um, and it just sort of saved uh, painting all the details on them and they still looked okay but um, as you can see the box is extremely deep all of these things go back in that is the sort of uh, poster type thing that was on the bottom of the box and uh, we have a book or lots of books here these will be uh, the new rules and uh, obviously in here as well you'll have the rule book for the new uh, solo mode we can just get into this we'll uh, rip that off um, some spare cards or new cards I should say so we've got the new infinity rule book the chronobot and chronosis solo opponents rule book there's the uh, tray manual and uh, this is quite a, a chunky thing it tells you literally how to put everything away So we have quite a lot here, as you can see. Five layers of components and trays. And I must admit that uh, tray manual is the biggest of its kind that I've seen for any game where um, trays and sort of component uh, trays are um, sort of present. Normally you just get one sheet and it shows you how to put them um, back in the box but with this obviously because there are a lot of components and there's a lot of components that you have got from the uh, base game this obviously is very detailed to, to sort of take um, that particular sort of set of components and then you've got a tray overview and obviously uh, all of the boards and things because it will give you everything that you need here to sort of pack this away each time you've got the future imperfect expansion rule book the fractures of time rule book and then a quite nice art and story book which gives you some very nice background on the paths of each faction that's what they're called, they're called paths um, so you sort of play a particular path and they've got different sort of things that uh, each of these sort of factions can do or are good at as opposed to uh, other races uh, and factions so you sort of uh, choose one and you play it but uh, that's the thing, you can play this uh, the solo game using any of the paths against the uh, what they call the chronobot or chronosis as the new one is called and um, yeah we've got all of these sort of uh, new components here we we'll just take a look in the bag and see what these look like a bit sort of close up so as I say you get, you get these components as cardboard sort of tokens but you could also pay for them on the Kickstarter to, to get these. And they're nice sort of plastic with sort of clear sides. Um, they don't uh, look as nice as they did on the Kickstarter page, I must admit. Uh, they looked a bit more glowy um, uh, on the artwork and uh, other things. So um, 
a little bit too dark for my liking, uh, but that's just a small niggle really. You could probably sort of put some paint on it or do something, but that would then obscure the fact that it is uh, some clear plastic on the sides. But yeah, um, just one small gripe. Perhaps it could have been a slightly uh, lighter colour for the for the plastic just to m make it not so dark. And then we've got some other plastic sort of tokens here. So let's like say these were all sort of nice little upgrades. Um, some some extra little sort of cards and tokens. As I say, the water to the, the water droplets, symboling sort of five and singles. These were the metal uh, cube sets of 65 pieces, so you get 25 titanium, 20 gold, and 20 uranium. So they're all in there. They're just nice and heavy, um, a lot better than the the old plastic ones. And then, as I say, you've got some other sort of components here in one of the trays. We've got some dice, and some some stands, some more water, some extra cards, and obviously areas to put certain things back in the box. So there we have it. Um, been waiting quite a bit for for this one to arrive. Um, should have been sort of a few months back, but obviously with sort of COVID delaying the initial sort of uh, components and things being. Um, designed, signed off uh, and sort of then produced because obviously these are like a lot of uh, things these days they are produced in China because of the cost and um, the quality is excellent on on these uh, things uh, I've got uh, a few games now with the game trays in and they, they are all very very well done uh, but it's just a shame obviously of the uh, the fact that it was delayed some months so yeah it should have been sort of about September time so we're looking at sort of three or four months uh, delay but you know it's finally here and uh, hopefully what I'll do uh, I'll get a uh, sort of crack on during this uh, uh, week weekend and sort of pack all this away according to the plan and then I'll do another short video where I'll do another unboxing type video showing you everything put away in its place and um, yeah, it'll um, hopefully get to the table within the next sort of week or two as well to play a new game against the new solo opponent. Um, other people have reported online that um, it takes about two hours to pack it all away. So uh, it'll be a nice sort of uh, relaxation afternoon, hopefully, sort of uh, punching some of these things out and then sort of packing them all the way in their relative new homes. And then we'll... Uh, see where we are so that's it from the games kingdom for this uh, short unboxing video and we'll be back again soon with another one we'll see you soon bye <laughs>